Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Komen and I'm here today with just a quick update video on my channel. This is just to say that I have added the Vanilla Tweaks resource pack, which is a customizable resource pack in which they give you a bunch of options and you can pick and choose which of those specific options you want and then you can download that um, customized resource pack and add it onto your Minecraft uh, visuals and then you guys can have your own custom resource packs. I will link uh, I'll put a link to that in the description so you guys can make your own custom resource packs, which is it's just really, really cool. Um, and this is just to show you what I've put in my custom resource pack and what you guys will be seeing in my videos in the future. So straight off the bat, we have our um, hay bales, which are no longer strapped. Um, also, as you can see, we have a darker inventory space here, which just gives it a little bit of a calmer feel. It's like giving putting on dark mode on Discord or something. It's very nice. I really like it a lot. Next, we have our dried kelp block, um, which is also uh, unbound. As you can see, there's no, there's no, there's nothing restraining it. And I just feel like doing that for each of these just makes them feel a lit, uh, a li not lit, a little bit more um, comforting, to be honest. Next, we have our horizontal nuggets, and you're probably just thinking that I just twisted those on the item frames. Nope, these are in fact horizontal, as you can see here. Um, and I did that just because you wouldn't be holding it straight up if it was like a tall thing, and if it was just sitting on the ground. It wouldn't be floating straight up it would fall over so uh, i don't know just in my brain this just seemed to make more sense so i added this on as well next we have our smoother wool textures and um, as you can see if you look close enough they do in fact still have the wool textures but they've just been smoothed out so they're a little bit nicer to look at next we have our endless end rods which i think is really really cool and definitely adds a lot to the end rods uh, basically you're just taking the purple like end off of it so it's just a straight rod which allows you to do some really fun stuff like this without interruption or even stuff like this, just like making it go up and up just as a straight rod and not having any breaks between them with some purple lumps, you know. It just looks a little bit nicer overall. Next up, we have our glass doors and trap doors. Obviously, these are with all the doors, not just this one. So as you can see, we have stuff like this and this and this, um, which I can put out for you here uh, just like this. So obviously, we have, the, we have different textures of glass for each door. Um, such things that tended to fit in a little bit better and look uh, also like Minecraft glass, which I think they did really, really well, and it looks really, really awesome. I also added the uh, somewhat circular uh, wood like log because I felt I always admired that in people in other people's videos and just how it looked. I just, I just always thought it looked so cool, um, and it's still Minecrafty, and I still love it. Um, but also, it's just it looks a little bit nicer. We also, I also added some variation in like the dirt and brick patterns. Um, so as you can see, every now and then a dirt with a pebble will, pa will, will uh, spawn in. Um, as you can see, this is still just dirt uh, along with this uh, middle clicking. And as you can see, eventually you'll get another pedal um, just like that. Um, so only some of them will have it. Um, and that's what variation is, which is really great. And then for the bricks, it'll just occasionally add in a darker or lighter brick here and there. To give the wall a little bit uh, more depth, I guess, or a little more, a little bit more of a realistic feel. And then we also have variation in our bookshelves. So as you can see, each shelf is a little bit different from the last one. Um, and then also we have connected textures on the bookshelves as well. So there's no like bar between the bookshelves. They're not just like blocks of shelves. They're actually whole shelves, which is really cool. And then speaking of connected textures, we also have connected the textures of iron along with a couple other blocks, um, such as like ore blocks and such. We've also added some directional arrows on our redstone components along with um, a, a little bit of a fancier switch to tell you whether it's on or off. Because sometimes you really just need to like look for the red particles around the switch to tell if it's on or off or not, which is really annoying for me. So um, adding that texture is uh, really, really helpful. Now this probably doesn't look too suspicious to you, but... As you can see, if I click this and then put it in my left hand, it's actually a little bit lower than it would normally be, because normally it's like right, right up in my screen and it's really obtrusive and I just can't see anything past it. But right now it's not obtruding anything. I can see past it just as well as, as I can see past my hot bar. Of course, when I put it up, it's pretty much the same. But when I le when I let it down, it's it's taking up so much less space on my screen, and it's really freeing. Also, the same is true with lava. As you can see, if I come in here and I catch on fire, the fire is actually lower than it normally is, which allows me to see past it much e much more easily. Um, I've also added unobtrusive scaffolding, which makes it so you can see where you're going um, if you're going either way. Um, I feel like they probably could have done a neater job with how it looks, because right now it just looks like I'm going to a big mouth with a bunch of teeth, and it's pretty terrifying. But it does help me see where I'm going, and I appreciate that, and that's why I added that on. Now, this cactus probably looks kind of funky right now, and he is pretty funky. But 
the reason I have this is because they've fixed the bottom of cactuses. Look at this. This looks amazing. And it looks like Minecraft. And it just it's just beautiful. And I really appreciate it. And it's just... Because before, logs or, or cactuses, the, their bottoms looked pretty much the same as the top. Which didn't really make sense if they were growing. So this makes a lot more sense, and I really like that. But anyways, those were most of the uh, of the tweaks that I've made in my texture pack. So you guys can look forward to those in my future videos. Um, there were a few other things that I haven't mentioned, but um, you guys will probably catch them eventually. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. So if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like down below. And if you really enjoyed it, then please consider subscribing, because it really would help out a lot. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.